Are you too? Yes. Oh no. Yeah, oh, focus. Come on. Whee. Spencer Street. It is pretty good conditions right now. We got uh it's just finished raining, so it's like the ground's still all wet, but if you look behind me, we've got like look at that scene. How cool is that? I'm not gonna spend too long on this intro. Let's just get straight into the POV. I'm shooting on the 65mm F2 from Sigma, uh, A7R Mark IV. That's about it. We got pretty good conditions, light rain as well. So there's just a little bit of rain just to keep the, keep the nice wet floor to get all those reflections. So let's, uh, let's send it. All right. We are recording. Good. Always a good sign. All right. Definitely first shot's just gonna be down here. This is such a cool shot here. Because the tram runs along here. But I don't wanna, I also don't wanna get run over by a tram. Yeah, this is sick. How's it going? All right. Let's have a sus. Need to go a bit further back, actually. Nice to look. All right. Yeah. We can get a train above there. Right now, this would be a perfect shot. What's my automatic ISO doing? Come on. Yeah, not gonna leave here until we get this shot. It's a must. I wanna see what it looks like from the center here. But I feel like this, um, yeah, it's better from over here. Because otherwise we get blocked by the, uh, yeah, I'll use my car to shield me from the traffic. <laughs> This is cool though. Sometimes you just gotta wait for the shot. Wait for the bloody train to come. They come pretty often up there, so. Should get one in the next minute or so. In the meantime, I can also get a shot of my car. Whoa, car photography. Look at that. Is this how you do car photography? It's actually not a bad shot from back here. Okay, it's pretty shit, but whatever. Now it's kind of cool. I like it. Still no train, of course. I do like this shot though. I love all the car reflections on the ground. That always makes for a really good shot, especially when it's just rain. That's exactly what you want. And you also want to train up there, but we got to wait. That's all right. We'll get there. No rush. Oh. A nice night to do some street photography. It is the perfect weather tonight. It's literally like 25 degrees and it's just perfect. A little bit of rain. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, not too hot, not too cold. It's literally perfect conditions. Maybe a bit more rain would be nice so people can get their umbrellas out and stuff, but it does the job for now. Come on. Please, train. Come on. I'm waiting. Waiting for a train. <sighs> oh, 
What do we talk about now? This is the problem with, with uh, these longer videos. You gotta keep talking, but says who? I don't know. I'm still figuring out how I want to film these. Whether I want to be speaking most of the time. Honestly, I kind of like videos where people don't speak for a lot of it sometimes as well, so maybe that's what I'll do for this one. We'll keep it a nice chill, uh, chill shoot. Come on, train. I know this is boring as fuck, but we have to wait. This is real. This is what street photography is like. If you want the train in the shot, you might be waiting for like 10 minutes. Like, you know, on Instagram, you just see the final product. You just see, oh, look at the shot. Whoa, bang. But you'd never see like the, the waiting time that actually occurs. So this is real street photography. You gotta wait. Here we go. Speaking of the devil. Look at that. How good. Just long exposure. Even longer. Okay, cool. All right, now I can only finally move on with my life. <laughs> Thanks, fuck. All right. So, F2. F2 is good, if, especially if we're gonna be shooting at night. Beyond that uh, aperture. Oh, there's another one. See, with the taxi. Got a nice tram here. How's it going, Mr. Tram? Jesus Christ. Are there any cool people on the tram that we can shoot, maybe? I don't know. Sometimes you can get some cool characters in the window. Other times not. Just really depends on what's happening. Pizza. That's a cool shot. <laughs> no. I'm not sure if I should chuck on auto ISO because I do for daytime stuff, but I don't want it to be too much at night. But then also, I don't want to miss the shot, so fuck it. Also, another tip I'm going to be putting it on, I'm going to change my white balance to a bit more blue and a bit more green. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. If, I can, if you're on a Sony, just go a bit to the blue. Put it in between the B and the G. Oh. That is sick. What a vibe. Damn. That's hectic. I love this vibe. Hello, subjects. Where are you? I love street photography. You never know what you're going to see. Who's out? Whether you're gonna see some crazy shit or you might see nothing at all, but that's what keeps it interesting. The constant fluctuation, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Southern Cross Station. Nice. I've never liked Southern Cross Station. I don't know why, I just got a bad vibe. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels that about this station. It's just a bit weird. 
good station if you want to go to the countryside, but for anything else, it's a bit, uh, yeah, there you go. Can't be good for you. Yeah, focus. Come on. I need to put my aperture up a bit, I reckon. Because too much was out of focus. There. I lost a lot of story in the foreground. Story in the foray, as they say. Mm. Go, Bob. That's a cool back light. Look at that. Why oh, is a cool shot down here? Look at these people. Uh, far away, but still cool. Mm, no, I don't like that back light. It's too bright. I wonder how the video quality is on this because I'm shooting on the iPhone still. I wonder how it goes at night. Because I haven't tested it out yet. I tested it out during the day. Seems pretty good, but I haven't tested it out at night yet. So this will be a uh, interesting trial. Another good thing about this lens is it's got, um, you'll notice, I, I kind of flick between autofocus <coughs> and manual focus. It's just got a little switch on the side. So if I want to, you know, pre-focus and then hold the focus there, I can do that, which is really nice with this lens. So that's a good feature of it. Well, we're going to get the hand over. Yes, 100%. Oh, no. No. Damn it. I missed it. Wrong person. Oh well. Always another good shot around the corner just waiting to happen. You just gotta find it. That's a cool taxi sign. I don't know if I can focus or not. Doesn't matter. It was not. It does matter. Oh, I'm 100% going to get the tram all the way back down here. Okay, this is a cool shot I saw before. Of someone walking down these steps. That would be a really cool shot. And you just have the steps in it. Let's go. Here's a cool shot. Nice. I'm just gonna camp up against this thing here. Yeah, this is cool. Once again, we shall wait for the right shot. Wait for someone to walk up. Oh, perfect. He's flying up the stairs. Damn. Got to be quicker next time. <laughs> It is still a cool shot, yeah. Shots where you can just get like a full facade or something, like a um, like a nice backdrop. 
They are the cooler shots. And when you can get a subject within them. For the meantime, you just gotta wait. Patience is a virtue. And it's worth it. Ideal shot would be someone with an umbrella walking up. But uh can't always roll six. The Dutch saying translated into English. I think it's you can need all tide ses gola or something like that. I'm learning Dutch. Oh. Yes, surely we get this person walking up the stairs in the yellow jacket. This would be a leap, but I don't think it's going to happen. We'll suss it out. Come on, one person. Oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Fuck it. Ah, all good. We got it. We got the shot. I think. Uh, if not, fuck. focus mode. Okay. Are we on? Yep, tracking. Yeah. Everyone loves a classic. There's a classic shot. Back of the... They always seem to leave. Why don't taxi drivers like me? <laughs> He's like, later, Bo. Oh, it's a cool frame here. Someone walking in here. Focus it on the floor where they will be. So that when someone walks out, it'll be a sick shot. Gotta wait. Oh, did we get it? Maybe. I don't know. Sort of. Kind of. I think that's like a bus terminal in there. That would be cool for portraits in there. Like a 35 or something. Frame it in with this. Frames, 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 frames. Street photography is all about frames. 
Look, you can get like a boring shot. Oh, someone's here. Where can we find a frame? Here. Maybe through this. Is this better? Is it worse? I don't know. But the point is, frame. Here. There you go. Boom. Maybe something like this. At least it's a bit more interesting. Or maybe you can shoot through this thing. I don't know. Something like that. It's cool. Jesus. Whoa. Okay, I'm just seeing this. Uh, this is a cool shot. I love the textures on that, uh, on this pole. Looks so futuristic. All right, we're gonna shoot some people coming out of this. Now I've locked the focus, so I know it's not gonna change. the ISO down. Maybe I can shoot it from here. cool photos maybe someone buying something let's go back to the auto I don't know we're trying that's that uh, nothing too cool nothing too hectic I like that red backdrop there. You can frame someone. Oh, you can go. It's all good. <coughs> you can frame someone coming up. Is it on foot? Yeah. I'm going to wait five seconds. If nothing happens, I'm going to leave it. That's the vibe I'm getting from this shot. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that no, was not. Maybe when they come up on this side, oh, this is it. Oh, I missed it. Did I miss it? No, oh, I got it. Oh well, good enough. Good enough. Still filming? Nice. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, sorry, no, go on. Sorry. Oh, no worries. Yeah, gotta get the photos. What is, oh, it's a police building. Probably shouldn't be photographing that. It's cool lighting though. Cool lighting for portraits. I'll rate it. <laughs> I wonder how far I have to go. I'm trying to think where the uh, CBD ends for this shot. I think. Uh, 
believe it is this street. Well, it's Flinders Street, Spencer. I don't even know. My geography sucks. Um, yeah. Tribe. Is this where the CBD is? There's not much more up that way anyways. I'm gonna cross and turn around. Can't be far. <laughs> Straight up, this can not be far. Everyone, uh, this is the Melbourne crosswalk. If you're not from Australia. Now, how are the photos going? I don't even know where we shot. Oh yeah. Cool. Got a couple nice ones. Just gotta keep on shooting. Nice. We got a shot the tram. Oh nice. Cool tram shot. Uh, the lights are all on the other side though. And it's on automatic guys, so I think they shot at like fucking 10,000 of us. That's good. That's good for your mental health. <laughs> so I think the tram's gonna leave, but this would be a cool shot. Uh, we can do a fat crop. We're gonna have to do a fat crop of this one, but. It's cool. That's why I love the R4. You can just crop the fuck out of anything. <laughs> Comment down below what you're doing right now. I'm very curious. Are you A, taking a shit? Are you B, editing your own photos? Am I on your second monitor? Are you on the train with your AirPods on, wondering, uh, you know, should I be on my phone or should I be looking out the window on the train enjoying my life? Are you for, what else would you be doing? Are you waiting for someone? I don't know. That last option was pretty, pretty shit. Comment down below. What are you doing right now? Curious. I'm gonna have a read of these comments, so let me know. Let me know what's going on. Oh, that's vibey as. Bit of cyberpunk vibes. Hey, cyberpunk, dystopian, all that shit is like that is my vibe. To be able to incorporate more of that stuff like that's why i love japan so much it's just so futuristic but also like they have so many old professions and so many old techniques that they just still keep like old traditions it's so cool it's just the, the coolest combination of old and new in a society that's why i love it and then also you just got like mount fuji banger for photos such a cool place. Alright. What else can we see?
That's cool. Come on, focus. Hey, I missed it. Mm, no. Oh, yeah. Really. These guys riding their scooters. It's gonna be a legendary photo. I'm hard to tell. Yeah. Let's go. A cool shot. It's kind of vibey. I like it. I like it a lot. It's kind of dried up. See, this is why I didn't want to shoot too late tonight because I knew it was going to dry up like it has now. It's a cool shot though. Subway. There's just a bunch of cops outside. No idea what's going on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just chilling here. Chilling. Uh -oh. It's better framing actually like this. This is a. Uh, it's got that white backdrop. Hey, do we have another street photographer? Um, Getting any good photos? Good photos? Are you taking photos here? Yeah, same. I'm taking photos in the street. Oh, yeah. Like this. Too. Are you too? Yes. I'm oh, nice. This one. Whoa. Yeah. Over there. Yeah, over there. That's good. Yeah. Good work. See you later. Thanks. Hey, it's not often I see another street photographer or someone shooting the street in Melbourne. If you ever see me in Melbourne, say hello. Say hey. Come up, say hey. And if you're over doing street and you bump into me, let's just send it and get some bangers. That's what it's about. But I've rarely bumped into street other street photography. This is cool here. Oh mate. Oh my focus is having a very hard time. I'm gonna have to manually focus on this dude. Cool shot though. Come on, you fucking ISO mate. Yeah, this is just fucking up. Oh, okay, there you go. Lost the shot. Alright, hopefully the other one was good. I think I got it. If not, it's not the end of the world. World ends. <laughs> Nuclear bomb goes off. It's not the end of the world. That's a class A joke right there. Uh, okay, I need to remember. When I flick it up, that is focus. Oh, look at this. Minimalism. Talking about minimalistic photography. Big backdrop, small subject, good photo. That's how it works. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me, say to trust me. Probably shooting at night when it's a bit too dark. 
is you can't really get a lot of subjects unless they're properly lit up. So you've got to get creative with how you shoot people. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit more of a challenge. Oh. Yes. My back is chilling. There's my upper back, got in this femur bag. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Nah, I just gotta exercise more. Exercise, mobility, stretching. You gotta do it. Otherwise, your body's gonna suffer. I love street photography, it gets you out, gets you walking. You know, if you do a couple hours of street photography, that's like a good workout. Oh, it's a cool shot up here. A photograph. Oh, this tram's going. That would have been a cool shot, but was gone. So phone, phone, phone. Still on my phone. No one knows. Just going on. Maybe you've got a cool frame in between here. You've got TikTok, short form content. What will uh, the next one be? I don't know. Maybe virtual reality where everyone's strapped in. Who knows? If you're watching this video and you've been on YouTube for too long, get the fuck off YouTube right now. This is your sign. Get off. You can watch the rest of this video later. But just get off and go spend some time in nature or go meet up with a friend, go get a coffee, spend some time in the real world. Because uh, if you don't, you're just going to be scrolling and you're going to feel like absolute shit. So be serious. Take some time to go out and do some real normal human shit, not <laughs> scrolling. What else can we see? It's kind of cool over there, those two girls. Two girls, one tram stop. Hey, I love the all the condensation on there. It's a cool shot. Is that alright if I? Ah, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, it's a cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a cool shot. Condensation, man. I want to get more condensation shots like on windows and shit, but it's hard to see, you know. Can't always get it. Can't always get the condensation. I feel like it's got to be very cold in the city. Actually, no, I don't feel like, I know. That's exactly what happened. Because when I was in New York in 2017 or 2018, it was fucking freezing. It was like three degrees or something. And all the restaurants had this condensation on, so like on the windows and stuff, and you could just take photos of people like, like with all the condensation, and they were sitting inside with silhouettes and stuff. I love that vibe. Whee! That's, that's not us. Hello. Yeah, 
it's a fun series. I'm enjoying doing this uh, photo series. I think I'm like five or six streets into it now, out of, I believe, I can't even remember. I think there's like 18 streets I've got to do in this whole series, but yeah, we're at like the, the quarter, first quarter way point. So, but it feels good to have a bigger photography project to work on. One that can be spread over months instead of like, oh, today we're gonna be doing fucking water bottle photography. The next we're gonna be doing water balloon. Next week, random this. I like this style. It's definitely more me. I feel better doing it. And that's why I'm gonna do it. Simple as that. It's nice to just be able to do some stuff on my own. Just uh, really get, get in touch with my, my soul and my creative self. I like it a lot. <laughs> We're almost back at the start. <sighs> Any other shots you can see? I don't know. This guy here. That's cool. Oh, what about these people? Oh, yeah. Back in the start. We call that a pretty successful shoot. Got some good shots. That's all that matters. I want to just go a couple of shots down here first before we call it quits. Alright, we can get creative with this lighting. Let's see a bit of road work stuff happening. Whenever there's road work, it just creates for the best lighting. Coffee, fucking earth. Love a coffee now. Alright. Just want to suss out what's going on there and then we're done. I don't know if there's anything. Probably suss it out. That's a cool shot. There was a train here. Train building. That'd be sick. But, I don't know. What else do we have to go? 3,200? alleyway shot it'd be cool if, that's all right no oh, no worries it'd be cool if there was someone walking down there but we don't have that bit of an empty shot at the moment 
always is a bit of Photoshop AI or something. <laughs> yeah, there's not really too much else I can see. Probably just gonna add on back up. Well, we could just end the video here. Uh, not much else. That's kind of cool. Whoop. Oh no! Oh, banger coming in. Guy crossing the lights. Let's go. Uh, we got one final banger of the night. That's good. I'm happy. Happy with that. You gotta be happy with that. That was nice. Put my lens cap on. To signify the end of the shoot. Here yeah, done. That was fun. Thoroughly enjoyed that shoot. Nice way to end a Sunday night. That's a cool backdrop there as well. Yeah. That was good, I enjoyed that. We'll do a little outro, let me just chuck my camera bag away. Yeah, with the old and with the new. Nice. I have no idea what this looks like. Whatever. Another shoot. Done. I don't know if you can see me right now, but whatever. That was fun. I'm definitely tired. <sighs> yeah. What are my thoughts of the shoot? I enjoyed it. Was it like, it was cool because it was raining, but um, I definitely did find it hard because yeah, the light wasn't um super strong obviously because it's night time on people's faces so it's harder to get those like emotional shots like hard to capture people's emotions um but that's all right always next shoot um it's funny i'm not used to filming this type of video because usually when i film a youtube video i think about things like this and i pause and i'm like okay what do i want to say next and i can wait as long as i want i can wait a minute 10 minutes and I don't have to say anything because I'm going to chop it. Whereas now, because I'm just sort of leaving it all raw and open-ended, there's not, um, <laughs> I don't have that room to think. So it's definitely a challenge because like, as you're speaking, if you've ever spoken to the camera, you know that like, as you're speaking, you're thinking about what people are thinking about you saying. <laughs> it's like this, and then it just fucks you up mentally um, as you're trying to say what you're trying to say, but it's all right. No one's perfect. Just gotta keep trying. But um, yeah, what else? All these photos were edited using my Lightroom presets. So if you wanna grab them, they're in the description. Um, I'm also working on another little preset pack, which I'm excited to launch. I've got some really cool, like futuristic vibe presets in there. So that's gonna be fun. Launching a print shop soon, which I'm super keen for. Gonna be making the prints here in Melbourne, all handmade or everything like, no China, like drop shipping bullshit. Like, authentic high quality prints which is going to be sick and uh yeah gotta keep this series up as well so 
you're going to be seeing, well, we got like, I think, like I said before, six streets in or something now. Five streets, something like that. And uh, got a couple more to go. So it's going to be fun. I'm excited to see where this series takes us and what we learn throughout it. Um, but what I learned tonight is at night time, it's harder to capture the emotion on people's faces true to the lack of light. But you can also get creative with uh, using the lighting that's in the environment. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. As always, don't think, just do.